two. Hi, everybody. Um, I got critically critical acclaim from my last interview with Father Felix that it was a big groundswell um, that we should have more of these interviews. Um, and I refused until I walked into the church today and I ran into Mrs. Dern. Now, Mrs. Dern is our early childhood and pre-K education teacher at Our Lady of the Apostles, the Catholic school in St. Emerges. And she also um, is the coordinator of the art and environment ministry here at St. John the Evangelist. You might see a few of the people who work with her, um, and they make a great, incredible team together, um, kind of organizing and making our uh, prayer so beautiful. And so uh, with Father Felix, we kind of had a between two ferns kind of thing. So we made this between two palms. <clears throat> All right, so that would be good. Now, is it true that you met Martha Stewart when you were in jail, and that's how you oh learned how to, do, how to do all the videos? That is not true. Are you sure? Are you sure? All right, I'm just kidding. <laughs> we, Mrs. Dern's a little nervous, so we're trying to do something to make her laugh a little bit. So, could you tell us a little bit about this cross back here? Sure. This was um, an idea that we had come up with um, as we were thinking about Easter and something to do differently um, than just the, the normal decoration for Easter. And we want to involve everybody in the parish and in the community. And our ladies and our ministry um, all agreed and decided on, on this, this paper cross. There are little strips of paper um, that we left in the lobbies for people to take and write down um, their Lenten journey, basically, um, where they want to go through Lent, how, what things that they're thinking about with Lent, um, and how they wanted to, that to lead to Easter. Um, we then took all their strips and we connected them like a pre-K pre craft. Um, but then we were able to um, design it in a way where you can see um, um, the resurrection cross. And that was all planned before all of this happened, oh, right? So oh, we, yes. So could you tell us a little bit about the planning involved? Because people might think that this just happens like, oh, well, this is what we always do. There's an enormous amount of preparation that goes in, right? Sure, sure. Right after Christmas, basically, we start thinking about, okay, Easter's coming, um, Holy Week's coming, what are we going to do? Um, let's try to do something again to involve everybody in the parish. Um, which we really enjoy doing. So people feel connected um, to our St. John. So um, in the beginning of February, even after the end of January, actually, we started planning that. And um, that was it. And we have, uh, you know, we're, we're taping this the Friday before Pentecost. I'm not sure exactly when it'll air, but mm -hmm. when our next episode will air. But, um, <laughs> We are, you know, marking an important time in the life of our parish. Like three years ago, you know, this building was, you know, really destroyed by fire, and we're getting ready for Pentecost mm -hmm. this Sunday, and we'll have the two drive-in masses. And, um, could you tell us a little bit about our plan for Pentecost and how it kind of links to our parish? Sure. Um, well, basically, through everything that we've been through, we really needed to kind of look at um, our reasons for hope. I mean, we've had so many over the years. Um, the things that the tragedies that we've gone through um, and the incidences here, but we wanted to look at um, ways to, for people to think that you know Pentecost is, is ways for hope. Um, so we asked for um, we got pictures, little um, cutouts of anchors, which is a symbol of hope, um, and we're asking our parishioners to write down their reasons for hope um, throughout um, this time from um, Ascension. Uh, yeah, from so Ascension, Ascension to Pentecost. Pentecost yes, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, so <clears throat> today, what we're going to do is we're going to we have all the anchors, and they're all in their Pentecost colors, and we're going to artfully attach them to our cross to make it a resurrection cross to a Pentecostal cross. And hopefully, a cross that we'll see for the weeks ahead. You know, mm. we hope that the church uh, it's always open <laughs> now, but you know, it'll start to get a little more open and be able to gather a little bit, um, and maybe that'll be a great sign for us, not only of resurrection, but of that you know, call for hope. Mm -hmm. That's so much a part of this community, right? Yes, like that absolutely. reason for hope from um, from three years ago that mm -hmm. we kinda grabbed onto with Saint Peter and now the letter to the Hebrews, the anchor of hope is a hope is our anchor. Um, and it connects us. Yeah. It all connects us as a as a family, a Christian family and a community. Yep. And that's ultimately, you know, what you do is you help to even connect us more powerfully to the liturgy, right? You know, everything that we see. Um, pulls us in even more. Mm -hmm. I always love bringing the kids over here at different times mm -hmm. of the year because yeah. it looks all different. Yeah. <laughs> and to be able to, it becomes a way to teach and a way for us to enter more fully um, into it. What do you love about doing this? I, I 
just, it's, it gives me a sense of peace. It gives me a sense of community. Um, I, I like doing it behind the scenes. Absolutely. <laughs> um, and I like to see people's reactions when they come in, and especially with the kids, when I bring them in there and they say, oh, this is purple, or the things, the different things that they see and the things that we have hanging here the, uh, for Christmas, the Advent wreath. I just love to see people's reactions of, of that. And, and I like to make things look beautiful and meaningful. Absolutely. What do you love about teaching uh, young kids? Like you're, you know, I, I'm, I serve as the principal, and your classroom is right across from the principal's <laughs> office. So I always hear calendar songs and <laughs> holiday things. What are some great things you love? I mean, you're so gifted with young children. Oh, thank you. What are some of the things you love about that? I'm a big kid myself, and I love to get down and play and be silly and um, just be like a little kid myself. Um, they give me so much joy, um, and I love to give them joy. I love to see them grow, and, and I love to nurture them. And what a difference between September and June, and it's, it's, I love doing it. And then I love to watch them being in the school. I love to watch them then go to first grade and second grade, and all the way up to eighth grade, and watch them graduate. It's a pure joy for me. So some of our eighth grade, you know, our eighth grade, well, hopefully all of our eighth grade will graduate, <laughs> and then some of our students will graduate in a couple weeks. Mm -hmm. um, did you teach some of them when yep. they were pre-K? Yeah, pre Jack, Jack Tito was one of my first um, awesome. classes. Yeah, I'd awesome. yeah, so cool. really love to watch them grow up. Yeah. Yeah. And you plant the seeds of, uh, you know, I, one thing I could say from watching and listening and learning, everything you do is always with that gift of faith. Oh. Um, so whether it be teaching them about the senses or <laughs> teaching them about the seasons or teaching them about the letter Q, or <laughs> you somehow always find a way to bring it back um, to their faith. It's yes. such a great yeah. foundation for them, you know, for the years ahead. So, well, see, it. now this wasn't so bad, was it? <sighs> oh, no. You see? All right. So, and I'm only kidding about the Martha Stewart thing. It's just <laughs> a joke, just a joke to be kind of funny. All right. Well, <laughs> thanks for taking some time, and more importantly, um, to you and to all the members of the art and environment industry, wow. Like, what a great way to bring life to our parish and uh, help so many of us uh, can find hope, especially in these days. Thank you. Thanks, Mr. Stern. Thank you very much. Well done. For our next episode of Between Two, no, I'm only kidding. <laughs> Have a great day. <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs>